Could you imagine walking in high heels? Hi everyone, I'm Jules and today I'm going to be talking. <laughs> Hi, welcome to my channel. Today, Marcus and I are talking about the Banana Republic uh, Madison 12 hour pump. Banana Republic claims that this, this pump will last 12, or that you can stand in this pump 12 hours. And I have put that to the test and I'm gonna show you my review. But first, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. I talk a lot about um, the working woman and how to be a young professional woman in the workplace. And part of that I love is fashion. So diving right in. So this is the banana. <laughs> so this is the Banana Republic. I swear I'm not telling him to do this. This is the Banana Republic. Uh, Madison 12 hour pump and what Banana Republic claims fine you can go what Banana Republic claims is that you can walk in these shoes or be in these shoes I haven't read the fine print for 12 hours uh, so this black pump the Madison one has sort of this sweetheart toe line oh my gosh ignore my manicure so it says Banana Republic inside it's got a little bit of cushioning the black leathers is soft but stiff so it's about a three I don't know. Let's look. Uh, so it's a 3.3 inch heel. It's a good medium sized heel, but uh, it is kind of wobbly. I feel like I could break it off if I tried. So I went into the Banana Republic store and tried these on. So I'm normally an eight and a half, but when I tried these on in the store, I actually sized down to an eight. The eight and a half, my feet were lifting out. My toes had a lot of room and the eight was pretty snug. I was really sold on the whole 12 hour marketing. I'm a working woman. I want to be able to wear heels to work, but sometimes it hurts. First time I wore these, I wore them to an event at work. Uh, the first, I don't know hour they were fine they were stiff and I actually ended up stuffing the toe a little bit just to make it a little softer but by the end of the night I definitely had some blisters and I was not feeling the love of these pumps so what I ended up doing is I put on two pairs of socks and I blue dry them just mainly around the toe I didn't need it so much in the heel but feeling them now after I've done it they, this leather <clears throat> right here is definitely softer then the leather back here, which is still pretty stiff. What I did was for about 30 seconds on each shoe, I would blow dry with the socks on and wiggle my toes around and that would loosen the leather. And then you have to keep the socks on in order for the leather to cool around your socks. I mean, it's very similar to curling or straightening your hair and sort of kind of holding that curl if you're curling it, holding that curl in place um, while it cools. Same applies for shoes. So after I did that, I took a really big gamble and wore them for a whole day at work. Um, I was wearing them with a black suit. I was going out with um, my boss's boss on a, on a big meeting and I wanted to uh, just really look the part and have these really great staples. And for, so for this big meeting, what I ended up doing was I had these shoes and then I brought a pair of kind of ugly black heels that are super comfortable but super not fashionable um, just in case I was getting blisters and I didn't want to be walking around like a dinosaur uh, just sort of stomping along. Result is is that it worked and by the end of the nine hour day I just had little teeny blisters starting so overall that fix worked. Oh I also took out those insoles and now I just use sort of the shoe kind of as it was made. So it lasted nine hours and that's about the length of time I would give these shoes. Maybe they need to be broken in a tiny bit more, but I really don't see these shoes lasting 12 hours. Now, given that, if someone has their mindset on these shoes, they come in so many different colors and styles. Um, there are a couple different kind of toe lines. This one's that sweetheart one. There's this, there's straight across ones. You're looking at those shoes, I would definitely recommend buying them and make sure you buy them on sale. But would I buy them again? No, it's because I think there are better black pumps out there. If you're looking at a particular color or print that you're 
just particularly in love with, then definitely go ahead and get them and make sure you buy them on sale and plan to break them in. If you're just looking for a solid staple, I wouldn't recommend these shoes for the money. So I have other shoes that I prefer above them. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up below and also leave a comment if you've experienced these shoes too or if you have a pair of pumps you'd recommend because I'd love to try them. Marcus asks you to please subscribe down below. Thanks so much for watching our channel. I'm Jules, this is Marcus, and we will see you next time. Bye. No. Come here. Why are we sassy? Come here. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, Marcus and I are reviewing, oh my gosh. All right, this is gonna take a lot of takes. I can already tell he has a lot of energy today. So, Addison 12 hour pump. Um, so I have this pump in black leather. Ugh. Nose prints on the shoes every day. And what I found is, drum roll. Bye.